Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. So make sure you guys check out lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking. My two newest teas are available right now on Amazon and on the website. One is the red blood cell booster tea that's available and so is the honey cinnamon nighttime tea. So if you're interested in trying either one of these out, you guys can check out either one of those websites. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. So I wanted to come on here and talk about the whole Takashi 6 9 Nicki Minaj and Kanye West situation, okay? So if you guys don't know, like I've been telling you guys for months, Kanye West and Takashi 6 9 have been working on a song together. They then decided to collaborate with Nicki Minaj as well. So basically, Takashi 6 9 decided to do the video shoot down in Beverly Hills. Now, as we all know, him and YG have been beefing off and on all year, and things got ahead over the weekend when YG sent them these damn warning shots, okay? Go ahead and check out what YG had to say on camera. Check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Matter of fact, bitch, nine, where's your chains at? Man, I, I could have sworn your bitch ass just got robbed in New York by your own motherfucking people. Nigga, where the fuck your jewelry at? Nigga, you ain't been wearing no chains, bitch ass nigga. Stop playing with me, nigga. I'm on your hips too, by the way. I'm fine. Hey, bitch, nine, why is you posting me on your Instagram? You supposed to be posting Slim 400. He the one that stopped your bitch ass from performing yesterday, you punk nigga. You mad, nigga? Punk ass nigga. You ain't no street nigga. You ain't never been, nigga. Your shit is weak. I'm telling the bitch nigga, hold up. That part. Me personally, just keep it 100. I don't give a fuck what a nigga feel like I was on with this nigga and what the fuck it was about and what y'all niggas say it was about. Keep it 100. Disloyal to the P and the B. Out of line. Niggas don't condone. Niggas don't fuck with that. It ain't, it ain't the business. Period, point blank, nigga. Like, and you niggas over there, that part, who's and all, them niggas. Yeah, that part. It's like, come on, P. Like, nigga, don't, don't, don't rock with that nigga. Don't slide with that nigga. Don't get paid by that nigga and accept that shit. Like, no, nah, that's out. And at the end of the day, it's L.A. County. All of us got to stand up for this shit, nigga. Don't get to the door. Can't perform. Can't do nothing. Nigga, bother. Whoa, they're dirty ass bloods. You know why they don't like me? I'm gonna tell you why they don't like me. They like yo, this kid got rainbow hair, right? This kid got rainbow hair, got six nines and tattoos on his face, looking stupid, right? He's running with our gang culture. He's running with su this, ah, ah, blood this, right? That's the thing, right? They they're angry. They they're mad. Why I'm a real blood, I'm a real gang member, blah, blah, why is it not working for me, why is my music career not jumping, why is he platinum records every week, why is he selling out shows in different countries every day, Germany, Italy, France, Russia, everywhere in the world, why is he winning and we're not, we're dirty bloods. Why are we not winning? Why is no one seeing our struggle? Because you're a dirty blood. You're a fucking dirty ass blood. You're fucking not worried about. So I've been working on this project for the fucking past week. I'm letting you know now, this is the best fucking project you're gonna hear this fucking year. You know how when niggas put out projects, they got one song and they be like, oh shit, yo, you heard that niggas um album or EP or mixtape or whatever, and they got one song that can. Every song on this fucking project is a fucking billboard hit. It's a fucking banger. Watch the fucking numbers. Watch the first week fucking sales, man. You know the vibes. That's YG right there. What is it? What is it? Name one slip on it right there. Name one. I can't. No, you can't? You yeah, never heard of the guy. Never heard of him? What's your message? Just went for Get some money. You broke. Like, yo, I, yo, bro, if, if YG really had love for you, you wouldn't be in her right now. If YG was really your friend, you wouldn't be in her right now. YG can't even get himself out the hood. Look. He can't get himself out the hood. So you decided just For my girlfriend right here. So Come with you. Good. So you know what I'm saying? What he wants. Why you ain't do nothing? Oh, Where's your 
security detail. Where's your shooters? In your hood. Where, where they at? You niggas need to get your fucking business management up. You need to get your money up. Get your shows up. Get your touring up. You might need to call Treyway. I might help you niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? I can help you niggas, man. I can help you niggas with your careers. I can help you niggas with your fucking bank account situations. Some of you niggas in the rap game don't even got bank accounts. I know about you niggas, man. I know about you niggas, man. Y'all out here mad. Shout out to MTA Booking. Shout out to my family, Tashia. Honey. All right, so you guys just heard what YG had to say. So anyways, um, Takashi ended up renting out one of the biggest mansions in Beverly Hills. And Kanye West was on set. Takashi 6 9 was on set. Lucky for Nicki Minaj, she was late, okay? And so what ended up happening is that gunshots rung out. And there was a shooting that took place. And the room that got hit was supposed to be Nicki Minaj's dressing room that Takashi 6 9 gave to her at the last minute. So this entire situation is crazy. Had Nicki been there, had her crew been in that room, she possibly could have been hit, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what TMZ is reporting. Go ahead and check this out. So TMZ is saying Nicki Minaj is beyond lucky that she didn't show up early to film at Takashi 6 9s music video because the room that got shot up was intended for her dressing room sources close to production tell tmz at least one bullet pierced the window thursday night in the master bedroom as it's the biggest one in the beverly hills mansion it was supposed to be the room where Nicki minaj and her crew chilled during the music vid production we're told the original plan was for six nine to be in that room but he decided the day before Nicki should have it that's interesting because if the shooter had inside information from the set, they might have aimed at that room targeting Takashi. As we reported, Nikki was not there at the time of the shooting, but Kanye West was, and he left immediately after the shots rang out. All right, so you guys just heard me read that, and you guys also saw some of the video clips. So this entire situation is crazy. You know, at this point, it's so funny that when shit gets real, everybody wants to get in their feelings, and everybody's like, you know, Nikki needs to be careful. She needs to stay away from these gangsters and things like that. Kanye West needs to be careful. Um, I believe that they all know that Takashi 6 9 is involved in a lot of mess, but they were willing to take that damn chance, and this is some of the things that can happen when you're willing to take these silly chances. When you're a big caliber artist, certain artists, you don't need to mix your brand with because then they can take you down in their fuck shit. This man sits online all day antagonizing other gangbangers thinking that shit's sweet. And then when things get real and shit hits the fan and there's a shooting, then all of a sudden you want to see him walking around LA with all these big burly black security guards. And like I said on Instagram, what I find really interesting is that he done hired all these big black men to protect him, okay? <laughs> He done hired all these big black men to protect him. Well, you know, being that he's a Mexican, why are you not hiring your cholos, your essays, and your damn vatos? Why are you not giving them jobs? It's funny that he's willing to risk these black men's lives and risk them getting shot on his behest because of all his fuck shit, but he's not willing to risk his own people's lives. Y'all notice that shit? I have no respect for this dude and the moves that he's making. You know, obviously he has not learned from the death of XXX. He claimed that after XXX was killed, he was going to change his ways and, you know, be a better person and stop trolling so much. He's just doing the same thing that he's been doing. And Nicki Minaj is very, very lucky that she was not in that room. She's very, very lucky that she was running late because like I said, she could have been hit. Now here goes some extra tea for you guys, okay? Gossip in the City is reporting that basically the girl, Bad Gigi, now if you guys remember, she's the one who's currently suing Cardi B and they're pressing charges against Cardi for that strip club brawl that happened in New York a few months ago, okay? There have been rumors already floating around that Nicki Minaj might have been paying for their defense because they're using the same lawyer that Meek Mill used. Well, now Gossip in the City is showing a side-by-side -side picture and basically you see on Bad Gigi's Instagram page, she's wearing the same outfit, she's out there in California 
California. And then when you see the girl walking next to 6 9 it's Bad Gigi. So she's saying that Bad Gigi may make a possible cameo in this video with Nicki Minaj, 6 9 and Kanye West. Because otherwise, why would she be there? And so to a lot of people, this looks really shady because it's like, okay, the other day, you and Cardi did it the beef. You guys wanted to move on. You guys wanted to let bygones be bygones. Now, fast forward a week later, it looks like Nicki Minaj might be on some sneaky stuff by having Bad Gigi come to the video set. So there's a lot of rumors going around as to why she was there. I don't know if she's going to be in the music video. I don't even know if the music video is still going to happen now that this shooting has happened. But it's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out. But again, I think a lot of these big artists need to really watch their moves when it comes to running with these, you know, SoundCloud artists like 6 9 and these other ones who are just involved in a bunch of fuckery and game banging and constantly keeping stuff going on social media. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation. Once again, concerning Nicki Minaj, Takashi 6 9 and Kanye West. How do you guys feel about the shooting in general and all the drama that 6 9 is involved with? And then as soon as he gets into some trouble, then he wants to run and go hire these big black security guards. He was walking around with more damn security than Beyonce and Rihanna. A few people pointed that out on my Instagram post. But again, like I said on Instagram, that's because Beyonce and Rihanna know how to carry themselves. This idiot does not, okay? And then how do you guys feel about the fact that Bad Gigi is there with 6 9 Do you feel like Nicki Minaj brought her there and that she's gonna appear in the music video or do you feel like she's just there because you know she wants to be seen how do you feel like 6 9 and bad Gigi somehow got connected in all of this mess so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces <laughs> hey you guys it's your girl t and i hope you really enjoyed that video if you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals Definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.